this is Quantisa Davis, and it is a pleasure to greet you with the love of Jesus Christ. Thank you for logging in, and thank you for subscribing to our YouTube page. And now, join me in worship right here in the heart of Victory in Christ United Church, the place for all God's people. So yes, and amen. God, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. That even though weapons may form, God, your word tells us that they shall not prosper. God, we give you glory tonight. Hallelujah. Because you deserve all our worship, God. You deserve all our praise, God. Hallelujah. Lord, if we had 10,000 tongues tonight, God, we couldn't praise you enough. Because you've been just that good to us, God. You've been better to us than we can ever be until ourselves. And so God, tonight, Lord, we lift you up, God. Hallelujah. We open our mouths and we tell you thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for another day, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh God, that you didn't let our feet the split silk asunder. But God, you held us steady, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh God, that in spite of our wrong, God, you looked beyond our faults. And God, you saw every one of our needs. God, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That you didn't cast us away. But God, you draw us closer to you, God. Hallelujah. Lord, forgive us of anything that has not been pleasing in your sight, God. Hallelujah. Renew us, God. Renew a right spirit within us, God. Renew our minds, God. Renew our, renew our spirits, God. Hallelujah. God, create in us a, a clean heart, God. And renew a right spirit within us, God. We thank you today, God. Hallelujah. God, we bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you glory, God. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. God, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. For the word that is about to come forth tonight. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, hallelujah. In this season of elevation, God, in this season of pushing, God, that your people don't give up, God, that your people hold on, hallelujah, to God's unchanging hand. For Lord, we know, hallelujah, that in due season, if we fight not, God, we shall reap just what we sow. Oh God, you said the race is not given to the swift, neither to the strong, but it's due to the one that endured until the end. God, your word tells us that our eyes have not seen Neither has our ears heard, neither has it entered into your hearts what you have in store for us, God. Hallelujah. Help us to wait on you, Lord. Help us to wait on you, God. Hallelujah. For you're not a man that you should lie, neither the son of man that you shall repent, God. Lord, we give you glory tonight. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. God, we bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. Hallelujah. We give you praise, glory, and honor, Lord. Hallelujah. God, we pray, oh God, for our young people, God, that they too, oh God, seek a more relationship with you, God. Hallelujah. God, cover and protect them, God. We rebuke anything and everything that is not like you in the name of Jesus. We rebuke ungodly association. We rebuke, oh God, all manner of conversation that is not like you, God. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bind up the enemy right now in Jesus' name. God, we release, release your spirit. Oh God, you said that at, 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 in the last days you will pour out your spirit upon your sons and your daughters and they shall prophesy. God, give them a spirit, oh God. Give them your spirit, oh God. Give them your mind, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. Shield and protect, God. We bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, for you deserve it, God. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, Jesus. We ask you now, God, that as we enter into Bible study tonight, Lord, that you come in and open up our ears, God. Open up our hearts, oh God. Let our hearts be open and ready to receive your word. God, we thank you for the fertile ground that is going on. God, we thank you, God, oh God, for the fertile ground that is the seed is being planted. God, we ask you to bless those who are watching, God, by way of Facebook and God, by 
you too, God, that you would bless them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And where they are, God, that you would touch them now in the name of Jesus, that you would fill their house, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, God, we give you glory tonight. We bless your holy and your righteous name. And God, these are all the blessings that we ask in Jesus' name. Have your way in this place tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we do pray. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. And Amen. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord gave me a series for next month. Um, was torn between two things. And, you know, I believe I finally got the answer from God. And so next month we are pushing, right? I do believe that, you know, we, we have come from transformation. And I am so delighted of the transformation that I have seen from many of you. Let me say that, all right, from many of you. Amen. The transformation has taken place. And I'm so excited about the transformation that has taken place. And so we want to continue to cultivate that. Because remember, whenever you come out of a transformation, whenever things begin to change in your life, you release some things, you let some things go. If you don't feel that void where the thing was meant was taken out, the enemy will come in and fill it for you. All right? And so we want to make sure that you know you are getting what you need, that you are feeling yourself. I am I am tremendously proud of those who, who have completed the new members class who are continuing to strive and continue to grow in the Lord, all right? I am, I am just ecstatic about that. And so we must continue that, all right? And so tonight, again, as I said, we've come from transformation, and we are going, we have stepped into elevation, and I, it is important that we continue to elevate, all right? Beloved, I got to tell you tonight that it is time to grow. Come on, say that with me. It is time to grow. It is time to grow. We have elevated, amen, to a certain level, but some of us have not quite gotten there yet, and some of us need to push a little bit further, amen? That's right. Some of us need to push a little bit further. I don't know what you're going through. I don't even care what has presented itself. I don't even care what has come in your way. I just need you to know, and I just need you to have the faith that I have, or at least a little bit. The Bible says you have faith the size of a what? A mustard seed. That's right. Come back to me. If you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, that you can move a mountain. So I want to ask you tonight, imagine if you, if, if regardless to what you have done so far, if regardless to what you have believed so far, if God has done what he has done, even in the midst of you doubting, how many of you can say you asked God for something and you still doubted about it? Amen. Amen. How many of you can say that you, you've been saying or you've, been, you've written down your affirmations, but yet in some, some shape or form in your body, you feel like, you know, you are, you are still in doubt. You're still in, you know, a uh, contemplation of, 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 of if you can have what you are saying that you can have. In the midst of all of that, what if... And, and, and understand now, in the midst of all of that, God is still showing up. That's right. God is still doing what he said he was going to do. Amen? Amen. God is still making a way out of nowhere. He's still doing what he said he was going to do. So, if in fact, because he has done that and you still doubt it sometimes, you still question God, you still worry, you still uh, uh, pray in, in, a, in, a, in a, and not of an expectation. But you pray in, 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 in a midst of, 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 of pleading with God. What if, beloved, you step into faith and really believe? If God did what he did, even when you were doubting, even when you were worried, even when you were doing what you were doing and still didn't completely trust him, what if, beloved, you really trusted God and, and you shifted from this mustard seed faith? Unto bigger faith. What what if? What would happen? What do you think would happen? God would do? Mm. Huh? This serves two purposes. God is saying, look, I, I did it even when you doubted me. What do you think? How much more do you think I'm gonna do even if you have faith in me? Right. Good God Almighty, oh bless the Lord on oh my soul. Uh, how, how much more will I do even in the midst of you doubting me? Even in the midst of you having fear. How much more will 
will I do? When you have faith, when you trust me with your whole heart. Beloved, it is time for us to grow from one position to the next position. This position that we in, some of us are stagnated. Some of us are still are, are, are contemplating. Some of us are still, you know, we're worrying and frustrating. And we don't really believe God like we say we believe God. It's time for us to grow. It's time for us to move. Somebody say shift. shift. Time for us to move. Somebody else say shift. shift. Huh? It's time for us to move, beloved. How many of you tonight want to move? Amen. Huh? How many of you tonight are tired of being in the same place you, you were in Amen. and you are ready to grow? Amen. You're ready to grow. It's time to grow. And the truth of the matter is, beloved, we all want to grow. How many of you in here want to grow? Here it is, wanting is key, but are we willing to do, wanting is reason, but willingness is the key that unlocks destiny. Who want it? Who do I want, Bishop? I don't know. Who wants their desires? Who wants their dreams? Who wants their, a, 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 your, you know, your, your, your aspirations, your, your, you know, who wants the promises of God? Good God Almighty. Lord have mercy. Amen. Who wants that? Hmm? Who, who wants that? And so if, if you want it, what are you going to do to get it? What do you want to do to get? Who, who wants? What is it? Well, I just want the promises of God. Because the promises of God, God said, is yes and amen concerning me. Mm -hmm. And so what is stopping me from getting the promises of God? My willingness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, somebody talk. My willingness. Write that down. My willingness. I've got to have the key. And the key is it, 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 of it is willingness. I've got to do something to get it. Now, understand, beloved, I, I'm trying to give this thought to you, and God gave this to me today, as you know, and, and, and because I wanted to do something else. But as I was studying, I was being shipped to another to another position. Okay? And so you say, I God said, I want you to have it. I want everybody to have the promises of God. Lord knows. I want the promises of God. <laughs> Good God of God. I want what God has said to me years ago. I want what I've been prophesied uh, uh, to about. I want all of that. But am I willing to do the work in order to give? Right. Because willingness is not nothing easy. Amen. Wanting is. Amen. Do y'all see that? Yes. Wanting is. Wanting is easy. Mm -hmm. But willingness takes work. Somebody shout it. It takes work. Yeah. Many want it, but by definition, don't process true willingness or don't possess true willingness. We don't possess the work mm -hmm. of what it's going to take for us to get what is promised to us. Amen. And you know, beloved, that is sad. Because God has so much in store for us. But we are willing to put the work in in order to get it. Mm -hmm. That's true. Huh? Yeah. We give up when we're right there at the edge. Mm -hmm. We let go when things are falling apart. Amen. Huh? And God is saying, reach beyond the break and hold on. When things get rough, I don't need you to give up. I need you to hold on because it's getting rough because things are about to smooth out. Things are about to get better. But when things get wrong, we want to let go. We want to say, oh, but what we speak, baby, stop it. Right. Don't give up. Willingness is going to take work. Nobody said it would be easy. Amen. Sometimes you are going to do, and listen, I'm not necessarily talking about hard labor, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about just, just the point of you praying. Amen. Uh, that's work. Uh, Amen. Uh, that's good work. Uh, just the point of you fasting sometimes. Just the point of you being a good steward. That is all work. That's right. Sometimes we got to put the spiritual time in, the spiritual work in, in order for the manifestation of the physical to come. That's right. Amen. Lord, have mercy. 
mercy. How many of us are willing to put forth the spiritual work in order to receive the physical work? Wanting it is easy. I want it. I want it. But are you willing to stay there and tarry a little while in order to, for you to get the Holy Ghost? Are you willing uh, to do what God wants you to do in order to receive what God has for you? Amen. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on. We're going to work smart, not hard. That's I ain't right. talking about no hard labor. I told somebody the other day, I said, I gave up my years of working hard. Amen. I was doing something with, with, with my truck and I gave up the years of working hard. I don't work hard no more. I try to work smart. Huh? And in my working smart, I'm going to pray. Work smart. Huh? And God says, you know, pray in all things with, you know, with prayer and supplication. If I can ask God and God will give it to me, guess what? I'm going to ask God. That's right. Good God Almighty. Lord, help us tonight. Look at here. We have a willingness. Let's see what willingness. We want it. I want you to have it, but I want you to have it, but many of us does not possess what it takes of true willingness. What is willingness, Bishop? The quality or state of being prepared to do something. Mm, yeah. We've got to be ready. We don't have time to be getting ready. We must be ready. Oh, help us tonight, God. Help us tonight. We must be ready. The quality or state I need you to be in the state of being prepared to do something. But what I'm going to do, I don't know, but I'm going to do something. Whatever God tells me to do, I'm ready. Amen. Huh? I'm ready. Wherever he tells me to go, I'm ready. Amen. Huh? Whatever he tells me to do, I'm ready to do it. We've got to have that mindset. Amen. Imagine if we had more people in the church who had that mindset to say, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but whatever I'm going to do, I'm ready to do it. That's oh, good God almighty, huh? And set yeah. and 
Huh? I, I, I need y'all to see this. When, when the woman gets ready to run, right? I'm gonna stay right here. They get down on the knees. And the person that's about to, about to pull the either the whistle or the little pop gun, they said, ready? They said, ready? And they looking and they said, set, and they go. What position are you in? Are you on the ground just chilling? Right. Good God Almighty, I'm expecting 
thing. And so therefore, I be in preparation for it. Amen. Beloved, you got to have faith. Yes, Radical faith. Jeremiah 29 and 11. Jeremiah. He says, for I know Amen. the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. Jesus has already said that this is why you can have faith and you can have confidence in your expectation and in your preparation for what God is about to do. Huh? This is why you can do that. Because he said, I know the thoughts that I have for you and it is to give you an expected end. Remember, God knows your ending before he, he uh, before your beginning. So he knows where you're going to end up before, and before you even know it. And your end is always going to be good. Your end is always going to be what God has for you. Amen. And it is good and not evil. Amen. And so this is why you can have, you can take that check to the bank and cash it and have the faith, the radical faith, and believe God because God knows your end. Amen. That's right. I trust God because I know he knows it. I know he got it all under control. He got it all worked out. I don't know how. It ain't my business. Pastor said just mind my business and do what I'm supposed to do. And God is going to do the rest. Amen. Let me help you out. We do too much. Yes. There's a difference in a willingness and a busy body. Amen. Huh? Willingness says, I, I got a willingness to be ready and, and to move when God says move. But busy body is being, being just doing stuff just to do something. You're doing things and it's unproductive things. You're doing things there's nothing that's going to help you to advance to get what God has for you. Oh, okay. Let me, let me help you out a little bit more. You act like. And we need to act like. That God is about to do something and get ready for it. Transformation, elevation, and I'm going to push through this. Philippians 3 and 14, it says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling. I press towards what? The mark. I'm not just pressing toward anything, mm -hmm. but I have a focus. What the hell? Huh? Come on, you got to hear this. I have a focus. I have a, my eyes set on the prize. I'm not just shooting at, and I don't know where I'm shooting to. I'm shooting right at this bullseye right here. Right, amen. Press towards the mark. He gives us in complete, precise instructions. What are you pressing toward? The mark. Mm -hmm. He didn't say just shoot your arrow and just pray and get somewhere. No, he says press toward the mark for the prize. Because even when I press toward the mark, I'm going to get the prize. Oh.
separate and what would separate you from everyone else's preparations. This is what will separate you from everyone else's and everyone else is preparation. This is what separates the weak from the strong. This is what separates those who can, re can recall and those who know what the mark is from those who are out there just doing what they're doing. And that is preparation. You want to be the super supernatural person that God has designed you for? You want to be, you know, to receive what, what God has for you and to be that extraordinary person? Guess what? This is what you need to do. Be prepared. Amen. It's easy. Just be prepared. Huh? Here it is. The spirit, you must have the spirit of expectation. I've got the spirit of expectation. I don't know when. I don't know why he doing it, but I just know he said it was mine, and guess what? I'm going to get it. Amen. That's right. Mm -hmm. How many of you here got the spirit of expectation all over you? Huh? Yeah. Come on. Are you expecting God to do something? Well, yeah. then you got the spirit. If you ain't got the spirit of expectation, if you ain't expecting God to do nothing, then you just hold on right there. Because while you sitting there, guess what? I'm going on and get mine. Huh? Yeah. I, you know, and, I, and I'm sorry, but I don't mean to leave y'all, none of y'all behind. But guess what? If God says what's for me, it is for me. Then guess what? I've got something I need to go get. That's right. Amen. I've got to have the spirit of expectation. Mm -hmm. And see, this is this is this is what we got to say. See the spirit. So what is the spirit of expectation? Bishop, what you talking about? What is that? To have a strong desire. Then I asked y'all Sunday, how many of y'all feel that strongness in you? How many of you feel that strong desire that something is about to happen? Something is about to break. Something is about to be loose. Huh? Yeah. You have the strong desire and be filled with anticipation. Oh, in that word. Anticipation and confidence in obtaining what is hoped for. I've got the spirit of expectation. I'm waiting and anticipating what God has told me, and I got great confidence. You can't make me doubt him. You know that no matter what comes my way, it will not deter me because I know who God is. Amen. And I know what he promised me. Yeah. I have a strong desire, and I am filled with anticipation. It is not going to surprise me when it comes because I was waiting on it. What? God Almighty. That's what anticipating it. I'm waiting on it so I ain't going to be looking crazy when all them, them commas is in my bank account. Uh oh, that's right. Good God Almighty. I ain't going to be looking crazy when the phone rings and the person says you approve. What? Everything. 
because everybody ain't for you. Amen. Everybody ain't praying, P-R-A-Y-I-N-G, for you. They are praying, P-R-E-Y-I-N-G, on you. Yes. They don't want to see you do right. Amen. They don't want to see good things happen to you. They are hoping that you stay in the desert. They're hoping that you stay stuck. Beloved, just shut your mouth. Amen. Just shut your mouth. Don't reveal. Stay on Facebook. Stay on social media. Stop telling people what was going on, what's happening. Sometimes we gotta. That's why somebody said something about fasting and praying. A lot of times when we fast and pray, beloved, we're getting in a deeper relationship with God. We are transforming to our spiritual language. I don't need the devil to know where I am. The devil has peeped us out because we talk where we are. We tell where we're going. He knows our location because it's coming out of our mouth. But if I'm in the spirit and the spirit is doing what it needs to do for me, which is make utterance and praise what I don't know how to pray and talk to my spirit and talk to my angels and tell my angels to get what I need to get done and send them on assignment, the devil don't know what's going on. Amen. That's yeah. Right. That's, right. Hmm? Mm -hmm. that's, that's what we got to do, beloved. Shut our mouth. Stop telling people what we're doing Jesus. and pray. Yes. Talk to God. Amen. Get, in, get in our spiritual closet and start speaking in tongues. I don't care if it's at your car, if that's a room in your house. Get into the closet. Stop talking in English and talk in the spirit. Jesus. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Good God. Here, I got one more illustration for you tonight. And we're going to go. All right? One more illustration for you tonight. Amen. This is where we are. We are elevating. We're in elevation. Mm -hmm. But it's also time to grow. And it's a very simple mission tonight. It tells us by anticipating having the willingness to 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 be ready. Amen. We, we want everything. Mm -hmm. But we're not willing to do what it takes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it just takes us to be quiet. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Sometimes it just takes us to be on our mark. Hello? Amen. Be on our mark. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, are you on your mark? Mm -hmm. Uh huh? When you're in a race and you people looking around, that tells the person that gonna, gonna, gonna start the race that ain't nobody ready, right? Right. Huh? But when you're on your mark, you tell the person that's gonna start the race, okay, I'm ready. Amen. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Huh? Huh? That's right. Listen, I'll tell y'all this. I saw something today, a video, and some kids, you know, they were being, being, being kids, and, 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 and they were talking, okay, man, you ready? You ready? Ready? Are y'all ready? And the dude's looking like, no, you ain't ready. When he put his hands up, the other dude was like, oh, you ready? Okay, that's it. Beloved, do you have your hands up? Jesus. Are you ready mm -hmm. to do what needs to be done? Jesus. Come here, Z. Amen. Huh? Are you ready? Amen. Are you ready to do what? Are you anticipating? Something to happen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Are you really and you waiting on God to do something? What are you doing? Jesus. Huh? What are you doing? Are you anticipating something? Mm -hmm. Huh? If y'all sitting up and wondering, like, okay, what's she gonna do now with Z? Mm -hmm. Huh? Z sitting here wondering what I'm gonna do, but Z is anticipating something, right? Right. Huh? Z don't know what I'm gonna do, but Z is anticipating what I'm gonna do something. Right. Did y'all catch that? Yeah. Huh? Z doesn't know what I'm gonna ask her to do. Why I call her up here, but she just knows that I am going or that something is going to happen. Anticipate something. Amen. Yeah. Blood. I, I really didn't want her to come up here and do anything. I just wanted her to anticipate that I'm gonna ask her to do something. Right. Beloved, here it is. You go, you go to see. You may not know what God is going to do. Amen. When he calls you, are you ready? Or do you have a willingness to do it? Right. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Amen. I don't know what God wants me to do. I don't know what he is going to ask of me, but I am ready to receive or to do what he asks of me. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Anticipation. Yes. That's good. That's good. We don't always know. Why are we being called? Mm -hmm. And why God calls us? Jesus. We don't always know what God is going to call us to do. Amen. But 
I just know I was home. Jesus. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Let me say it again. I don't always know. You don't know, always know why God calls you, what he calls you for. Right. But you just know you were called. Amen. Sometimes we won't know the assignment until we get up. Sometimes we won't get instructions until we give up. Mm-hmm. Are you waiting in expectation? Mm-hmm. Are you anticipating what is coming next? Huh? Are you waiting in expectation? And are you anticipating what is coming next? As we stand to our feet. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God again tonight for his many blessings and all that he has done and all that he is doing. Amen. Because God is up to something. Yes, he is. I know he is. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Amen. And those that believe that he is up to something, that he is up to something, you will take what I gave you tonight. Apply it to your life. Amen. That's right. You'll be waiting in great anticipation mm-hmm. for what God is going to do. Yeah. I don't know when. Look at your neighbor and say, I don't know when. Mm-hmm. Hmm? I, don't, I don't know how. Wow. Huh? I just know God is going to do it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And the Bible says, the day that wait on the Lord yeah. Yeah. shall renew their strength. Beloved, you've got to be waiting in expectation. Waiting in expectation. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, tonight, Lord, we thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor. God, because you have opened up our eyes, opened up our ears tonight, oh God, to receive a word from you. Not just any word, but a word that will prepare us for where we're going. Yeah, yeah. God, I'm anticipating. Jesus. And God, give us the spirit of expectation yeah. where we are not just sitting there doing nothing and twiddling our thumbs, but God, we are in, in a state of readiness. Yeah, yeah. We are in a state of anticipation. We are actually actively willing to do what it's going to take in order to get yeah, to where yeah. we've got to go. God, I pray for the spirit of expectation to fall on this house like never before. God, I pray for everyone that's under the sound of my voice, everyone that is connected to me. God, for them to have the spirit of expectation, the spirit to be willing and to have the willingness, God, to be ready no matter what it looks like because they're expecting a miracle. They're expecting their blessing to come through. That they are pointing towards the mark. Oh, in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. For I'm expecting the great. Hallelujah. Great things are coming my way. Great things are happening to me. I'm expecting great things. Glory. Hallelujah. I'm expecting great things for every and each and every individual. God, that's a member, that is a contributor. Watches Victory and Christ United Church, everyone that is connected to us, everyone that is connected with us. God, I'm expecting you to do something great in their lives. Hallelujah. I'm expecting great things. I'm expecting great things. Hallelujah. I'm expecting great things. Hallelujah. I'm expecting great things in my life.
Hallelujah. Because we serve a great and mighty God. Father, we give you praise, glory, and honor. God, not for just what you're going to do, but God, who you are. Because you are a great God. You are an incredible God. You are a loving God. God, you are a forgiving God. God, you are a gracious God. You are a mighty God. You are a victorious God. God, thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you glory tonight. Lord, shake up. Hallelujah. Shake up the foundation, God. Shake up your people. Hallelujah. And help them to be in great expectation, God, tonight. Let your, expre your the spirit of expectation fall on them fresh. We give you praise, glory, and honor tonight for all these things. Now, God, take thy word and hide it in our heart that we may not sin against thee. God, we ask you now to let it be fall on fertile ground, God. Hallelujah. So, God, that it grows and it gets an increase and it produces that which we have planted it to do. We give you praise, glory, and honor. We thank you, oh God, that no king of worms are going to mess with. God, we thank you that no bird is going to pluck it up. We thank you, oh God, that it shall plant, it shall grow. That, God, you will bring the increase in the name of Jesus. God, but we're expecting great and mighty things. God, we're resting tonight in the spirit of expectation. God, knowing that we'll wake up tomorrow and we will expect something greater. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah, we're looking for something greater tomorrow, God, hallelujah. We're looking for something greater tomorrow, God, hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Now, God, we leave it up to you, hallelujah, who is able to keep us from falling. We thank you tonight, God, lead us to guide us, oh God, into all truth. God, as we leave this place, but never your presence, we thank you for your peace that will go with us tonight. Give us sweet rest, God, as we wait in great expectation. Yes, yes. God, we're going to be like kids that's waiting for Christmas morning. Hallelujah. Yes. And we're going to wait in great expectation. And God, while we're waiting, we're going to praise your name. Hey, yes. Lord, we weren't expecting. We weren't expecting the that big old thing. But God, we were expecting something. And God, we'll thank you. We'll give you praise. We'll wait in expectation of what you're going to do. Because we know that you're faithful. Yes, yes. Ask for us to keep us now in your name, in your care. Yes, yes. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Bless those God who are watching. Jesus. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, hallelujah. Yes. God, as they sow their seed, oh God, on fertile ground, hallelujah. As they sow their seed on fertile ground, God, hallelujah. We thank you as they sow their seed on fertile ground tonight. Lord, we thank you that it's in great expectation that they shall reap what they have sown. Oh God, bountiful, multiplying it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Lord. We ask you now to do all things. Jesus. Because we know you can. Yes, you will. We take our hands off of it Jesus. and we give it to you. Yes, yes. And we wait in great expectation. Yes. We give you glory tonight. You, and we bless your holy name. Yes. And the people of God shout, Amen.